Good morning, everyone. A lot has been spoken. We have also did some experimentation on IT implementation, and I would like to share few of them with you. Just setting up a background, I work for Rajiv Gandhi Cancer Institute, Delhi. This is a visionary project of Indraprastha Cancer Society that was set up in 1994 with a philanthropic point of view we started humbly with 150 beds in 1996 and now we have grown to 310 beds a new building is coming up so in next 2 years we will be around 600 bed vision of our organization is to prevent treat and improve quality of life of cancer patients by providing affordable oncology care of international standards in india so i'll skip couple of uh, slides talking about strength facilities etc and uh, move straight to computerization this is a slide that i love to present uh, basically this shows the situation in india about the healthcare it implementation so 70% hospitals are small players and the role of it is insignificant there basically it is used for revenue accounting billing printing reports etc think part in part trade again can you specify on that especially to the doctors and those people who actually be using it see training is a very dicey word actually it is like you know taking allopathic medicine of iron or taking ferrum fast so i always give this example you take iron and if body does not have capacity to absorb the iron will go out so no matter how much training you give if you don't have the inclination to actually adopt that training will go waste so we are doing it uh, strategically what what i have done given them computers big screens right in front of uh, their desk where they can see so 25 inch monitor is installed and that too flexible so two three doctors can see it together we have put in a transcriptionist she is sitting behind she is doing the data entry we have dual keyboard so the doctor can put up a signature but doctor has nothing to do other than that she is now showing the reports doctor is comfortably seeing pull up the record of this patient and doctors love that so those records are pulled in now what my vision is not to send that paper copy full file just send opd card one single page doctor will see the record it is available shown to him will write whatever prescription is to be written we have the high speed scanner it will be scanned instantaneously and then uh, transcribe little later and then it is all becoming part of this so slowly slowly we will imbibe upon first we'll try to automate the workflow so laboratory workflow is automated all the orders are going online radiology we are doing then pharmacy will come day care we have automated pharmacy 100% online so the orders are going online it is reaching to the pharmacy the medicines are being sent there and administered and all the records are generated now they are loving it so it will happen gradually Many times the server crash. And second, we are talking of vendor. When one vendor you have given it outsourcing of five years, and that vendor change over to another vendor, there is class of interest, and there is a financial and also interest legal interest. Because the previous one, I am after two years, the vendor is change for my website. The old vendor is creating problem. I am going to take the legal. New mm -hmm. vendor is a class between new and old vendors. 
and we have data entry operated from outsource agency from the HIS management system. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened in, in SGPI also. It was managed by by the I think some company organization when we change over to the Sobhar Innison IT from Bangalore. That time we spent about 15 crores, but old data was a different model. So the 10 years data has been shifted to another new applications, but they do not plan holistically. We need to plan holistically. When we migrate from system A to system B, the continuity of care needs to be ensured. Server crashing, I think, is a thing of past. Probably, typically, hospitals gave very worst area for the server room. That is of no other use. And I have seen people peeking pans there. So, uh, if we respect IT to that level, this is the result that you will get. Now we are... One of the airport, electronic, uh, your, uh, your, yeah, just one minute, the server crashed in the airport, do you know that? Yes, yes, it did. Manual, people are standing in the queue for two hours because checking was not possible. When there is automatic on, 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 on checking, you not, there are problems. Because even today, we are defending a lot of the server data storage and all these, right? Absolutely. So there are techniques now. We have we have deployed disaster recovery center in Hyderabad. So if anything goes off here, we can immediately switch over to our uh, Hyderabad center and start. So there are ways to handle these things. Of course, investment is needed. Thank you. That was a wonderful presentation of uh, of how practically you have implemented from zero to one and moreover there were so many insights about do's and don'ts and uh, also about uh, this android this one which we have got the waiting time forecast uh, also there is an emergency room we uh, in aims they have a similar system so i think it's very good thank you sir we keep learning from you <laughs> Dr. Deepak Agarwal to present the top of appreciation to Mr. J.P. Dwevi.